Hey guys, Jason, and this is the second episode in my series on how to set up a ASIC script coin miner. Now, in this case, I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up a mining pool account. Now, there's various services out there. Um, some of them charge um, fees, you know, anywhere between you know 0.25 to three or four percent. And I have a video out there describing um, how to pick a pool, and I also have a video out there talking about whether you want to use a pool or whether you want to solo mine using P2P mining software. Now, because this series is kind of set on showing you guys the easiest and most simplest way, I'm going to be using a mining pool. I will have a video later on my channel explaining how to set up a P2P mining system. And again, I use a pool just because it actually sends me a text message when my miner goes down. And because I'm kind of busy, you know, that's a really nice feature. That one of those features that P2P mining doesn't have. So actually, I have a separate account for all my professional miners. And so I'm going to accept my invitation I sent through my email. And this is a very simple thing. So we're going to set up an account. For me, it's going to be Gamers Gone Tech, which is my YouTube channel. And I'm just going to use a pretty much random password. Um, it's going to be very weak. Um, again, for you guys, you want to put in a very, very strong password. Because, again, um, you're going to have coins on this account. And the last thing you want, the very last thing you want, is someone to log into your account and steal your coins. And that brings me up to the second point, the pin. So assume someone gets your user, your you know your email and username, and they get past your, and they get your password. They still can't deposit the coins in your balance or in your wallets on the pool site without the pin. It, a pin is a four-digit um, code, which is a four numbers. And when you choose it, choose something that you know you don't think is going to be very common because it's something that most people aren't going to think you're going to use. Because if they do. They basically have the fun way to send your hard-earned coins that you use with your miner into someone's account. Now, of course, they have to get past your password, but again, just in their safety protocol, um, where I type in our code 3030, and we are going to be clicking into register. And here we go. It is loading. Now, please check your email to activate this account. So I am using. Um, let me click this real quick. Hash to coins. I'm going to click this. Okay, now I'm using hash to coins, and the reason I am is just because I really like hash to coins. It's a pretty nice site. I've messed around with a lot of miners, and um, this seems to be my favorite. Gamers gone tech at. Oh, don't want that, do, do I? Gmail.com. Now, you guys will notice this is different than my professional email. This is my um, YouTube email, which I really don't get too many emails for. Now, let's log in. Uh, we just no, we don't want to say the password. Now, this is what it look like on your default thing. What you want to do next is you want to go up to my account. You want to go down to workers. Okay. Now it's saying we have no workers confirmed. Now for our miner to work, we had to set up, we had to set up a worker. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to name and I'm going to call it Jason. And password I'm going to say I'm going to put in a random code. Oh, one two three four. I guess you guys see what my password is. Um, so what it will be is you'll say when we're setting this up eventually it will be um, in the SG Miner prompt it will be Jason or I mean it will be GamersGoneTech.Jason and the password will be 1234 again you don't want the password to be 1234 but I'm just doing an example account I won't be using this once I set my uh, miner up now I love to mine f um, foreign so I'm going to go to FLO say you want to mine just for pure profit you can just um, you can pick a coin doesn't matter what coin uh, maybe a favorite coin you have and then you can press auto switch and that means whatever coins most profitable um, the system will mine now there's a whole other side effect of doing auto switching or what we call merge mining so I will have a whole video on that on my channel coming up soon I actually have all the script written for it I just gotta do the video but I, I don't like to do that because I'm more of a I go for one coin at a time and that's it and then you just click on add new miner or add new worker and you can, if you want, go to monitor. I always set up the monitor so that it will monitor my miner for me and tell me what's going on with it. And it says worker updated. So, guys, this is pretty much it. This is very, very simple. That's why I love hash to coin so much. You know, I'm not getting paid to talk about it. It's um, on my own dig dignity. It's my own. Yeah, I've, I've searched about 12 or 13 different um, mining pool sites, and this is by far my most favorite one. Um, very easy to navigate, lots of information. But there we got it, guys. So w when I show you guys in the next video how to set it up in the SG Miner um, script, 
Um, essentially, what it will be is just be gamersontech.json, and then my password will be one two three four. And this is the, um, flow or foreign will be the coin that we'll be mining. And then again, it has an X saying that we're not active.